welcome back to my channel i wanted to show you how to tie a head wrap right here i'm using a board um this is going to be for my toddler um her head is 17 to 19 inches roughly so that's what i'm doing i have this long piece of fabric it is 40 inches by 5 inches wide and what i'm doing is i am folding the fabric the end of it in and i am what I'm doing here is I'm folding over a uh, the fabric five inches and again another five inches. It's like how you make a normal five inch bow. I have a video on that in my channel and I am going to pleat it. I will uh, link that video in here so you can see how to make it. But um, this is how it will look like. What you're going to do is you'll take a little hair tie, a small elastic, and you'll stick it around the pleats in the middle after you're done. And make sure it's nice and tight so the bow does not slip or move around at all. And once you're done with that, um, you will need to fluff out the bow and make it just look like a normal bow like this right here. And then after you're done with that, you will need to get your board like I had stated you would need in the beginning. Or if you want to use your leg, you can. And center the fabric on the board. And once you're done with that, you will go on to the next step, which that is actually tying the head wrap. So you will take the uh, long piece that's not tied in a bow and you will reach that over and tie it around the bow, like I'm showing here. And you will tuck it underneath to where the white side is up. The printed side or whatever color you're using is um, going to be facing down. And after you do that, you'll see me here in a second, you stick that fabric over the middle of the bow right here I just like to make sure everything's nice and flat before I lay it over the center of the bow and that's what you see me doing here so I'm laying it over the center of the bow and I'm um, lifting up the uh, flap on the bow it would be the right side and um, there should be a hole on the bottom where you tied over there should be just stick your finger underneath of the little um piece that you put over the middle and you will stick the um fabric through that little piece and you will pull as soon as you get everything situated and how you like that's how you will tighten it up but you will need to make sure that you have everything the way you like it because it won't quite look the same if you have to take it apart and redo it to make it look to your liking What you see me doing here is I'm just fluffing out the bow, making sure I like how it looks. I'm fixing the center piece to make it look all smooth. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second, but just make sure that your bow is all fluffed out and um, that it will look the part because once you tighten it, it's just gonna tighten how it looks like on the board. What you will need to do is you will need to take that piece of fabric that you used to tie the bow and you will need to hold the middle and pull on it to tighten everything. That just ensures that it won't come apart as soon as someone puts it on their baby's head.
I'm done fixing it up, here is the end result. That's what it should look like. Or, you know, a little bit bigger or smaller, depending on what size baby it's for. You can um, fluff it up the way you like, but what you can do is, I like this method because you can turn it inside out and you can actually hide the piece of fabric that you used to tie the bow. Now, after you are done with that, you wanna go ahead and turn the bow right side out and you can tuck that little piece underneath and hot glue it, or you will um, hot glue the bottom parts. This just, this just ensures that um, the bow will not come apart whenever babies pull the bows off their head like they do. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I hope Bye. you guys have a great day. Bye.